Welcome back. We are going to be uh, looking at another Zerg vs. Terran. So maybe uh, Nocturnal Gamers thinks, you know, they saw some holes in Psy Storm Sugar's play. So we'll see what's going on there, Sluggy. But, 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 but. do you think um, the player that Nocturnal Gamers has sent out, we've seen him before um, in ZBZ. Do you think his ZBT is going to be better? Well, it's a difficult thing to say, though mm -hmm. every player has their own strong uh, strength, especially when it comes to matchups. Mm -hmm. That remains to be seen, and in StarCraft 2, you never know what's going to happen until you actually get into the game. And That's even fair. until the way through, you still wouldn't know. So I'm mm -hmm. very eager to watch and observe and see what's going to happen. Yeah, me too, man. Me uh, too. So Odyssey Ladder Edition on Zerg vs. Terran. What's up? Uh... What what's the meta for this map? Uh, as you can see immediately on the map, it's uh, it has a lot of wide open spaces, not mm -hmm. many high grounds, so it's great for an open field map. And this is where Hydrolink Bay really comes and plays with that uh, powerful mid game string. Yeah, dude, the surrounds with Hydrolink Bane is intense. But mm. we've got the scout coming from Sugar, and that means in the top left hand corner in the pink Zerg Trunks, playing for Nocturnal Gamers. His name on the field is Shit Maps, but we know him affectionately as Serial. Spawning in the bottom right is the returning player from the last game, none other than Psystorm Sugar. Yes, indeed. We'll see if his initial Reaper can do as much damage as it did last time. Because, I mean, oh, yes. dude, that thing was so sick. But we've got a That fast was definitely more damage than what any Terran would hope for. I mean, that Reaper definitely paid off its cost by a lot. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, this Reaper going to be poking in at this little, uh, you know, cliff point. Boom, boom. There it goes. Now going up onto the creep and only pausing for a brief moment, but the links are there and the links being very careful to stay on the creep at the moment. And oh, he pulls one off and there's more links being produced, but that means a lot less drones are being produced, but he's going to be much, much safer from this Reaper sluggy. Right. Uh, usually what Zerg players do is that they make just two pair of links. Now he mm -hmm. made three. That means he definitely watched the previous game and he right. is paying extra careful attention to Sugar's uh, amazing micro skills in the early game. What do you think of when like um, a Zerg makes like um, two pair of links, so four links total, sends two to harass the natural of the Terran while defending with the other two? I've seen uh, a lot of players like uh, No Regret and people like doing things like that. Uh, that would be okay, but if, to really make that effective, you would have to go for a gas first or a pool first. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, uh, you're going to have slow links and right. If it's not really difficult to deal with slow links, I mean, you just pull your uh, mm -hmm. worker out, uh, bring like maybe two more <gasps> workers. Oh my God, there was a surround there on that Reaper and he let it go. He let uh, it go, man. Oh, the Reaper is gonna good. fall, dies anyway, right. doesn't do anything. So at around three minutes and 15 to like 20 seconds, that's when the link speed is done. Usually uh, with the third coming so late, uh, mm -hmm. the Sugar was probably a little bit uh, careful on what he mm -hmm. wanted to see. So when the Reaper goes in, he probably wanted to see the number of gases that's being taken mm -hmm. and to see if it's a Roach all-in or not. Because Zerg players often do that with a fake third yeah. hatch, but they're going in strong. Yeah, no, um, that's very true. But we've got a very fast armory here, Liberators on the way. So this is looking like it could be a very, very strong uh, mech game. Um, Hellions, I mean, no, Hellbats and Liberators, that's definitely a strong push. And if you can just look at the third base location of the Zerg, that is a very strong position. Uh, on the space above the mineral patch, mm -hmm. uh, that's a really secure position where the Terran can abuse the position of play. But let's mm -hmm. see what these Hellbats can do. Yeah, they are moving in, but we've got a lot of Klings on the field, a lot of Lings as well. Lings not going to be doing too much coming oh, it's doing uh, so much damage already. Oh, it's cancelled. Yeah. Okay, now with the cancellation of the third hatch, it, mm -hmm. the pressure really comes on to the Zerg player. This really happened because uh, even though mm -hmm. there were Halion, uh, Hellions, it didn't make uh, Banelings. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's better if they actually retreat, but let's oh, see what these Hellbats yeah. can do. And Hellbats bruising the Queen's good transfuses going off this game. We saw a weakness there last game, and ooh, good saves on almost every Queen. All the With the overwhelming army, uh, he should definitely pull back right now. Uh, he actually saves up 
a lot of the army forces there, and mm -hmm. this is uh, what I kind of want to warn about, like, mm -hmm. getting the third hatch, that only happened because the Zerg player didn't make units, because it was busy droning. But once mm -hmm. they realize they're being hit, they're gonna transform all their larvae into army units, and that's when you want to pull out, because uh, that is the timing when you cannot win with re oh, without reinforcements from the Terran base. Yeah, he traded 14 links there for four hellbats with them and four marines, and it looks like he gets him to help out. Oh wow, another three drone kills. That is uh, absolutely huge at this stage. Yeah. Now, uh, with such damage, uh, the Terran player, I mean the Zerg player, really has to think about what his next move is. And the next move is the Nidus Tunnel. Uh, yeah. Definitely a wise choice. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how, how much damage it's going to actually be able to do. Um, there's no visibility here for Sugar whatsoever. All his right, units are actually not in the aware mansion. of the building actually yet, but now he has the, heard the Nidus uh, mm -hmm. noise, and now he knows something's wrong. Yep, and all the SCVs being pulled off. Roach is coming out, killing off a lot of the SCVs. Oh, Nidus tar being targeted. That's not so good. That's why you always want the queen out so you can transfuse. But yes. the attack is still going strong. You need a secondary Nidus tunnel right now. Uh huh. And the Banshee doing a lot of work to that Queen. Looks like he will kill off the Queen with a really smart cloak. And the Roach is being pulled down into that ramp, actually going to be forced backwards. But that means he's getting forced back right into the damage of the Banshee. More Queens popping out onto the map. Kills off a of Metadac. Oh my god. He needs god. to go for the Juggler right now. He can't be affording to trade against this Command Center. He needs to take off all the Banshees and all the units right now. And GG, there it is. With a brilliant two base all in, he has reversed the damage he done. Yeah, so now uh, Nocturnal Gamers taking it 1-1 against Psystorm Gaming. Dude, that was phenomenal. Like, Oh, that I absolutely guess was amazing. Secondary Nidus, like you predicted, man, with Queens popping out. That's what did it there, dude. That was so brilliant. What I really liked about the game was that mm -hmm. uh, even if he took some damages, he didn't falter. He constantly kept thinking of ways to get back into the game. And mm -hmm. that's what I really appreciate um, when it comes to qualities of a Zerg player. You don't give up, you just keep on thinking of ways to get back in. And I think in these hoped uh, Team League series, this is the first time where I've seen uh, such a comeback from yeah. a Zerg player. Yeah, dude. Never give up, never surrender. Mm -hmm. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Right now we are at a 1-1 score. We're going to be getting the next games set up for you. I'm going to toss it to my best friend ever, Felipe, to take you guys to our commercial break. Aw, oh, thank you. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Shaft. Like he was saying, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. So stay tuned, and we'll get back to StarCraft very soon. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.